right, so today we're gonna look at a Bauer RX series fly reel. And the reason we're looking at this is because this reel, like all the older Bowers um, prior to uh, when Winston bought them out, kind of have the same internal clutch design, uh, which is very unique to Bauer reels. Maybe you picked up a vintage one, maybe you're looking at getting one and you just wanna see how it works inside. Uh, maybe you have one and you can't figure out how to change the retrieve. So we're gonna open this thing up and kind of show you what's going on. So John Bauer was a race car driver and he kind of brought a lot of that precision into the fly world industry. He had one of the first large arbor reels, um, one of the first carbon fiber stacked disc drag reels. And he came up with this kind of unique, I think they call it the zero backlash clutch design, which this is the only reel design that I know of that, that uses this. I'll show you exactly what that is. So instead of a, a one-way bearing, which most reels have, um, he has these little, little tiny, they look like donuts almost. Let me take one out for you. So that's in there on one side, and then you have these pads on the other side. And if you switch the configuration, if we were to take this donut here and, and slide this pad over and then put the donut where the pad was, like that, and you were to do that in all four spots, you, you would change the retrieve. Um, the reason he did it this way, these are all non-corrosive materials, the, uh, the pad and, the, uh, and this little roller. And to be honest with you, with most fully sealed reels, the only problem you're gonna run into anywhere in the reel if water gets in is in the one-way bearing. And this kind of taking the place of the one-way bearing does, does two things. First, you know, a lot less moving parts. You only have four rollers in here instead of probably about 16 or 17 inside your standard one-way bearing. Also, you're gonna have drag washers with considerably more surface area because you're only gonna have a spindle through the middle of, of the washer, where a lot of the one-way bearing design reels, it's gonna be keyed for the size of the one-way bearing. So you lose a lot of surface area on the washer just for the cutout for the, for the one-way bearing. Now again, this will be all reels um, prior to uh, Winston uh, buying Bauer, and pretty much all of them are gonna have four of these these little sets of the of the pads and, and then the rollers. So if it's uh, if it's roller on the left, it's left hand retrieve. If it's roller on the right, it's gonna be right hand retrieve. And you just make sure you uh, you switch them all and have them all going the you know the same direction, and you will change change the retrieve. Uh, it's it's a really cool design. Um, I hope Winston at least keeps this RX series going just for the fact of keeping this design going because it is really cool and it's and, and it's a unique design and it works incredibly well. It's very, very smooth. Um, yeah, and uh, you know, di different different iterations of the bow reels, you know, are gonna have different ways to open them up. This one just happens to be super easy. That's why I grabbed, grabbed this one and took it up. And this is the current RX-6 and we do have a lot of Bauer RX reels in stock at Bears Den. Uh, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, breaking down the reels and see, seeing what's inside, uh, hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you.